All right, welcome to uh, Project Hot Horse episode number 31. 31 of these videos that I've dedicated to something somebody would have just scrapped. <laughs> and I'm going to I'm going to drive it on a public road. Um, today uh I have this is where it gets confusing. I have the the fenders from the LeBaron welded to the quarter panels of the Bronco. But now we're going to cut the inside quarter panels out of the Bronco. So that when we drop the back of the body, we're going to do that first. We're going to drop the, the back of the body first before we drop the front. When we drop the back of the Bronco body, uh the tires are going to clear since we cut out what was in the way. So we're going to start on that. So, uh, so yeah, it seems pretty easy. I, I wish I could snap my fingers, but I can't snap my fingers to get it done. Well, you know what? I in the magic of video, you can do that. I can't snap my fingers now. It didn't work. <laughs> Just to give you credit, you cut most of this out. I'm just doing the finishing cuts and then removing it. I don't want people to think it was me, but I have video of you cutting it out, so what I'm saying is totally nonsense. I'm gonna cut the other guy. Are you filming? That's nice. Look how much room. That's nice. Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, maybe, maybe I clean up stuff or maybe not. Maybe I just say screw it and just leave it like this. Perfect. Perfect. You want to cut out this side? Yes, no, maybe so. Sure. Or maybe I could just get a die grinding cut and then use the salsa all the way across. That'd be quicker? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a lot okay, quicker. Okay, let me try that. Come on, I know you're weakening. Yeah! Holy shit. 
can't see out of these freaking goggles. That's why I rarely use safety goggles because then they, they fog up and I can't see what I'm doing. So they're like unsafe D goggles. <laughs> It's these times right here where I, I picture like advertisements for like people working on vehicles and they're like, they have the proper tool and they're just slowly tightening a bolt and then like... This is me. This is me. Oh, I'm liking this. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. Look at this. Oh, the water. That's a tip. Dan's top five tips, but there's like 50. Um, remove lug nuts before installing wheels. It's on. <laughs> That's the thing, once my back loosens up, I can do, do pretty good with it, but. Look at that. Look at all the room. I could fit, I could fit just about anything I wanted to back here. Now, the back. Alright, you can stop filming. Let's say caterpillar. So, what this is, is this is two bed frames welded together to form box tubing. And what this is actually going to be, is this going to be the back the back piece where the chassis is going to mount to the new piece it's going to come across here what I did is I measured measured eight inches because I want it to be around six inches the body's gonna be six inches off the ground so this body's coming down eight inches to do so and that's where this this dot right here actually is eight inches up there so the bottom of this is going to go right where that dot is but I'm just grinding down the edge so it fits better. And then one thing we figured out is this piece right here doesn't come even with this. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll maybe weld a bigger nut, two bigger nuts here, and then weld gussets to hold that. That way the bolt will come down and then go through the chassis and then nut and bolt it. Alright. Let me grind this. <laughs> 